Welcome to another Warframe tip of the day. Today we'll be showing you how to easily gather carbides. Carbides can easily be gathered by the thousands on Earth's Proxima, which is a railjack planet. If you haven't built your own railjack, ask a friend or go into chat and ask to get ferried to the Earth's Proxima. If railjack is not an option for you, stay tuned. I have an optional mission that does not require using a railjack. For those that do have a railjack available, head to Bendar Cluster on Earth's Proxima. This is a railjack skirmish, which to me is basically like a sabotage mission. Carbides can be dropped from Grenier enemies, containers, lockers, and ships. Keep an eye on the bottom left of your screen. A picture of the carbide and how many you gathered will be displayed. When you first get into the mission, you'll see that you need to destroy four cruise ships. This is important because inside those cruise ships are enemies and containers, which drop carbides. Compared to the other easier nodes on Earth's Proxima, they only offer two cruise ships to be destroyed, which doesn't maximize your chances on gathering carbides. The other planets either only have corpus enemies or require a certain amount of intrinsics to join or is just plain difficult to complete solo. So I stick with this node in particular and it normally yields about 1000 or more carbides and only takes me about 10 minutes or more to complete. My railjack setup is advanced, so you may not have the features I have, but I also suggest unlocking them down the road. My build consists of the Vidar MK3 series, shield, engine, reactor, and plating. I have equipped the MK3 series APOC, Pulsar, and Tycho for shooting down the Grenier ships. I do recommend throwing on Intrinsics Tactical Rank 4. This is called Recall Warp, which warps you back to your railjack from anywhere on the map. This is useful for exiting cruise ships and warping in and out of our mission's main objective, and I'll show you why soon. If you're lacking squad mates for this mission, I recommend leveling up your Intrinsics Command. This will unlock NPC crew members that you can use to help support your railjack. I am running this mission solo, therefore I have Command Rank 5 unlocked, which provides a third crew member. I assign two gunners and one engineer. The gunners will take care of all the ships for you, and the engineer will take care of any damage done to the ship as well as any grenier that board it. Your job is to enter four cruise ships. Do not blow them up with your artillery. That would defeat the purpose of this farming method. When you enter the cruise ships, defeat all the enemies and open all the containers and lockers. When you enter the middle of the ship, there will be a pillar that can be destroyed. Try your best to not hit the pillar until all the enemies are defeated and the resources are gathered. When you destroy the pillar, a timer will start indicating when you need to leave the ship before it blows up. If it blows up with you still in it, don't worry. You'll just be transported outside the ship. I use Limbo Prime modded with range and duration. Range will enlarge your cataclysm and duration will determine how long your stasis will last. I also mod him with Loot Detector. This will show loot crates on your minimap. Last, I bring a companion modded with Vacuum. Vacuum will suck up the resources to you instead of having to walk over them. If you're bringing a pet such as a Kubra or Kavat, mod them with Fetch. This acts as a vacuum also. Smita Kavats can be modded with Charm for an extra drop chance. Since enemies can drop carbides, you can bring the Warframe Necros, Korra, or Hydroid to help maximize your drop chances. A resource booster also works with this farming method. It gave me an extra 1000 carbides totaling over 2000 at the end of the mission. After you destroy all four cruise ships, now you can complete the main objective. When you get to the main objective, again, destroy all the containers, open all the lockers, and eliminate all the enemies. Limbo's number 4 ability Cataclysm, when activated, can destroy containers for you, making loot crate farming quick and easy.
When you get to the objective to destroy the reactor on the outside of the ship, this is where the tactical intrinsics recall warp comes in handy. You can quickly teleport back to your ship instead of running to the exit, then you can quickly destroy the reactor. Exterior weak point exposed. Open fire. Destroy the core. Now. Away crew. Wrecking time. Destroy marked components. When you finish your objective, head back to the railjack. A must-have battle mod to equip for your railjack is called Particle Ram. This will break the rocks containing resources. Here you can fly around the map and smash through rocks. One of the resources that will drop is carbides. You can either rerun the mission through the navigator or head back to the dojo to claim your rewards. For those of you that do not have access to Railjack Mission, let's head over to Semineon Series. This is a low level defense mission, but also a dark sector node, which means enemies will be infestation and extra resource drops are added as a bonus. Carbides are dropped by Xmas enemies here. The Xmas don't usually start to show up until after round 5. They will start to slowly spawn until round 10 and become more common between round 10 and 20. You can easily become overwhelmed by Xmas between round 15 and 20. I suggest staying until round 20. While using a non-looting Warframe with a resource booster, I managed to get at least 200 carbides ending at round 20, and 100 carbides without a resource booster. It's not in the thousands like farming on Earth's Proxima, but it's a good start until Railjack becomes an option for you. I hope this tip helped you on your carbide farm. Tell me in the comments below how many carbides you gathered in one farm. Hit that subscribe for more Warframe tips and my Let's Plays. Also check out that super thanks button. See you next time for another Warframe tip of the day.